Hey there, thanks for watching. This is gonna be just a quick, quick plan with me video. Um, because I, at the start of the week, I like to look at the week in front of me and see what I have um, on the table so I can kind of plan ahead for it, as well as to say, this is what I want to do with my time and start to direct the week before it starts because for sure your time is your most valuable asset, for sure. And I'm trying to rearrange my life to live by that priority of time being the most important thing that we have. So this is, I'm using my plum paper planner and I'm really trying to work to get a good um, overhead shot uh, system going, but at the moment I don't have that. So I will just walk you through it right here. Um, I apologize. This is not the most ideal situation, but I'll see how this runs. Um, see if this works for people. Um, if people like this format or this style of video and I will, imp so if, if it, if you, you like this, let me know and I'll improve the way that I do it. If not, I, I won't bother. But so this is what I do. Um, this is how I run my layout. Oh, put it like that. Um, I have the six by nine version of the bound pl uh, plum paper planner. And I, so I use this top box for a quote that I put in. This is from Casey Neistat, the YouTuber media sensation. Um, and the quote is just, it's the execution that matters. And it is so true. Um, I plan in pencil because I erase and I change things around. And then when I go back retroactively, if I have the time, sometimes um, I will redo it in pen. So I can look back and see where I actually spent my time. I see like the plan and then what actually happened, which I find really useful to say, hey, this is what I thought I would do and this is what I actually did. So on the, whatever, this side, <laughs> um, I start with my week focus and my week goals and my week to do. So my focus for this week is going to be keeping my, uh, my processes really clean, especially at work. So I am going to aim to finish everything I start, finish each task before it, just finish each task because I'm someone that if you give me three things to do, I will try to start each thing and have a plan for how I'm going to finish it, but I will start each one rather than starting one and finishing it before going on because I want to make sure that I have things in process, but sometimes that leads to things being half done or not complete, so I want to be very clean in the way that I finish things out. So that's um, my focus for the week. Um, I also am saying over communicate and remain in your lane because in the work that I do, it's easy to, um, I don't say it's easy to get caught up, but sometimes it can be um, a challenge to just put the blinders on and say, this is what I'm responsible for. And this is what I'm going to do to the best of my ability. And that's all. I'm not going to get involved with what's going on over here or over here. I'm just going to focus on what I can control. So that's my focus for this week, especially at work and in life as well. Um, these are my week to do's. I have to, I, I'm going to continue to post for a video every day in April. Um, I have to look at getting my notary commission renewed because I am a notary public for the state of New Jersey. And my commission, which is a five-year commission, actually runs out this month in April. So I'd like to look into getting that renewed. Um, and I also have to look into getting my car registration renewed. I think um, that came a couple of weeks ago and I need to see where we are with that um, and send out the, the renewal form. So that's what I need to do for this week. And then my week goals are to list um, new items on the eBay store and then to close my eBay books for March. So that's um, high level what I wanna to plan to do for this week. And then moving into the daily. So what I do is I have the calendar running down this side and I will aim to, so I work every day, nine to five, more like eight to six, but when I, whatever, um, at my day job. And I have that here. I don't list it. I did list it for every day for this week. Um, so 6 p.m. on Monday, I teach at uh, the music studio that I, I work with. 6 p.m. on Tuesday, I teach a private student. Um, 6 p.m. on Wednesday, I play with an orchestra in town. And then Thursday, Friday, Thursday and Friday are my days off from my side hustle. Um, so I just come, I have the option to come straight home from work, depending on what all gets um, brought up. So I have the, the a little bit more bandwidth to do things in the evening, which is usually when I list or do things with my side hustle um, from my eBay store on Thursday and Friday. Uh, on Saturday, I have a an 8.30 a.m. hot yoga class um, in town. And then on Sunday, I have um, church at 10. So that's where um, I kind of 
take a deep breath um, and head my week towards. So my week is heading that direction. So that's what I have on tap for this upcoming week. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, and let me know if you like this type of video, this sort of playing with me thing. I really, I've started to enjoy watching them. I really enjoy watching um, Broken Over It's channel and, and um, she's really inspiring. So I will leave a link to her channel uh, below and let me know if you like this and I'll continue doing it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.